Hello everyone, today I'm gonna talk to you about you are made to live forever. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16 to 17, it says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. My friends, life is just a preparation for eternity. You are made to live forever. So if you die today, where will you spend your eternity? Are you sure that you are going to heaven when you die? Maybe you will say that, maybe I will go to heaven because I made a lot of good works. Let me tell you. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, it says that for by grace you are saved through faith and not of your works, lest anyone should boast. So we are saved by the grace of God through faith in Jesus Jesus is the only way. The Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 6, it says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but through Him. It is only through Jesus. So you need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for your sins, and on the third day, He rose again. So He loves you. And... The proof that He loves you is because He died for you. So God loves you and He wants you to live forever in eternity with Him. But the problem is we have sinned. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, it says that for all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. And in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, it says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So if you will repent of your sins, let me tell you that the blood of Christ on the cross can wash all your sins. What can take away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So by His wounds we are healed and by His wounds we are cleansed. Because Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. So my friends, Jesus is the only way. There is a story that Billy Graham shared. He said that there was once a creator. Let us suppose that you are a creator and you made a little ant. And you know that the little ant is going to danger. What will you do? You cannot stop the ant from going to danger because he doesn't understand your way of communication. So the creator became an ant and he said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Follow me for I know the way to freedom, the way to eternal life. My friends, that's what Jesus did for you. He was, he was God. He was with God. In the beginning, the word was with God and the word was God. He was God and he became a man to show you how he loves you. So will you accept him today? He is knocking at the door of your heart. So if you want to accept Jesus, just pray this prayer of faith. Just say, Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Come into my heart and life. I believe in you and I receive you. In your name, amen. My friends, if you pray that prayer, I believe that you are now born again. I believe that you will now go to heaven when you die and you, are, and you have eternal life. You are now a child of God. So thank you and see you next time.